Hello and thank you for uh, clicking on my channel, Cali Legends Media. Before I get started, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel thus far. And if you haven't subscribed, I want to ask you to please hit that subscribe button down below. It'll, it'll really help support my channel. It really helped me uh, financially. Uh, I, that's one of the variables that uh, YouTube uses to calculate the way a person gets paid. And the more subscribers, of course, the more they pay you. Right now, I'm averaging uh, <laughs> pennies. I mean, very little, very little pay. Um, so it would really help me if you subscribe. If you, if you do, there's no cost associated with it. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to be notified whenever a new video is dropped, hit that little notification bell. And you'll be notified whenever I put a new video out. You can go back and watch it when you have time. Okay, so today's video. Today's video is going to be very, very different than what I usually do. So I, I want to begin the video by, by saying one thing that's very, very important to my channel and to the message that I'm bringing. And that's for anyone who, who doesn't already belong to a gang, a tagging crew, uh, any type of a, a street organization or club or, or gang. Um, I highly recommend you don't get involved with them. Uh, it's better if you just go ahead and live life to the fullest. Enjoy your family. Enjoy friends that are that you feel are really your friends. And go out and enjoy all the good things that, that uh, the various uh, communities have for the people that live in them. That being said, you know, being from a gang, being from a neighborhood, being from a tagging crew, when somebody gets hurt, Somebody gets jumped, somebody gets disrespected, there's usually a response, and it usually involves violence. All bad. Why? Because although we don't see it as, as a crime, why? Because we're involved and we're doing something that we feel is righteous because maybe one of our friends got hurt or or maybe even killed, unlived, okay? Um, nevertheless, any response is, is, is a crime. And it's punishable by the law. Which means you, uh, you'll lose your freedom. You'll end up in prison. Then you're going to really be dealing with a, with a whole different type of world. Um, if you've never been there, it's a world that's, that's very unfamiliar. And much more dangerous than the streets and gangs. So the last thing I want for anybody is to end up in prison. And that's what this video is for. It's not, it's not to help you get away but I hope this helps you not go to prison if one day you make a mistake, you use bad judgment, or you do something you shouldn't have done. Whether you regret it or not doesn't matter. If you get arrested, you get prosecuted, um, you get found guilty, you're done. Okay? And they're giving out a lot of time for, for, for everything that includes that includes an act of violence. Okay? So... I'm going to make some recommendations. If you ever find yourself in this position, uh, recommendations of things that you should never do. And one of them is talk about it to, to, to somebody else. Whatever you get involved in, keep it to yourself, man. Don't even tell your best friends. Don't even tell the woman that, 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 that you're in love with or that you go home and sleep with at night. Keep it to yourself. So many times, you know, a guy will say something to his lady, you know, they'll be doing some pillow talk and then the guy might want to brag or he just want to talk about what he did, tells his lady something. Later on, they get in a fight, you know, and, or later on, maybe you get caught with some girl or something and, you know, he might piss your girl off and she has this information that, that can be used against you. And if she's mad enough, who knows, man, she just might use it. So, you know, you got to you gotta keep all of this kind of stuff to yourself, you know. Don't even tell your homeboys. Uh, why? Because you can't trust anybody. You know, you could tell one, two homeboys. Next thing you know, they told another two, told another four, told another eight. By the time you know it, the whole neighborhood knows uh, that you were involved with a certain incident. Uh, no matter how serious it, it is, you know. So you ever find yourself in a situation where something happen just keep it to yourself don't even tell your friends if it comes to the point where you get arrested 
just keep your mouth shut, man. If the sheriffs are asking you questions, don't answer them. If they're going to arrest you, they're going to arrest you no matter what you say. Don't try to talk yourself out of nothing. or You're going to go to jail. You know, you got those handcuffs in and you're under arrest, you're going to go to jail. So just, uh, just don't say nothing. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help your situation. And then when you get to the jail, more than likely a detective's going to come and talk to you. And depending on what your crime is, is what what department will come and talk to you if it's uh if your crime is something like prostitution or something then vice will come and talk to you if your crime is robbery or burglary then that division will come and talk to you if your your crime is unliving somebody then of course homicide will come and talk to you it doesn't matter who comes and talks to you don't talk to nobody because anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. And that's the only thing of your rights you got to remember. That and that you have the right to remain silent. You don't need to talk. They can't do you anything. And they can't persecute you for not saying anything. And the reason why I say this is because, you know what? There's even innocent people right now that are incarcerated and are doing life, you know? And are innocent. Why? Because the way that the district attorney and the police and the investigators put things together might only be circumstantial evidence and only might make you look a certain way but you might say something that you don't know that you don't know uh involves what they're putting together and you just might hang yourself with your own words even if you're innocent you know so the best thing is just don't talk to them exercise your right to remain silent don't say nothing it's not going to help you Okay, they're not talking to, you, talking to you to help you. They're talking to you to convict you, to catch you in a lie, to hear something that, that puts them on the right track. They're not there trying to, okay, well, tell me something. Oh, okay, well, that might mean you're innocent. No, they're looking for what makes you seem guilty because that's their job is to, to get down to the bottom of a crime and, and, and get, get themselves an arrest and a conviction. If you ever end up further than that down the line, like in, in going to court already, you got a case. If at all possible, man, don't use a public defender, okay? Now, there's a law that in order for you to be convicted, you need to be represented by an attorney. They can't convict you unless you have an attorney there present, okay? They can't sentence you to prison, send you to jail without you having an attorney there representing you. So they appoint one. But that's what they're there for. They're not there to, to, to necessarily help you. Uh, maybe if you if if you really come across that you're innocent to this attorney, he may go to work for you and try to and try to do something for you. But in most cases, um, they're gonna go along with what the sheriffs are saying. They're gonna go to lunch with the DA and discuss well how much time we're gonna give this guy, you know? And, and seriously, I'm seriously, man, I've had so much bad experience and heard so many things about when you use a, a, a public defender if you can afford a, an attorney get one you know um you're better off with any attorney that you pay for rather than a public defender okay you have a better chance and lastly if you're incarcerated during this time that you're going to court back and forth to court and fighting your case and stuff don't talk to nobody in the jail about your case don't mention anything about your case. Don't you don't need to tell them nothing. All that all that the powers to be need to know is what you're in there for. What's your charge? Okay, they don't need to know the details and who was involved and and who did what or what you know or what you think. Keep all that to yourself because there's so many people that are trying to get out of their cases or get less time that'll take what you tell them even if they have to twist your words around to give to the district attorney to get treated in a special way to get less time or to get out of to get out of their case so don't tell nobody nothing okay and, and besides that sometimes the cells are wired you know they 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 have listening devices depending on what your case is and, and if it's worth the trouble of doing that they're definitely going to do that they're going to they're going to have recordings of you while you're in jail talking to somebody uh, the best thing is don't talk to nobody and whatever you do don't talk on the phone to your to your family to your lawyer to anybody don't have no discussions about your case over the phone because 
all your phone calls are being recorded and they are being listened to. Don't think that recording is just to scare you so that you don't be uh, uh, doing things on the phone. You're not, no, they're recording and they're listening to everything that you're saying. So uh, don't be don't be saying nothing in, in jail to other inmates. You know, you can't trust that where you're being housed might be wired and you don't know if you're talking to an informant who's planted in there with you. And definitely stay off that phone, man. Anyways, I know I know I'm gonna get a lot of a lot of guff for this video. Ah, uh, you're 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 grooming you're grooming the youngsters. You're 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 getting them ready. Uh, you know, to join gangs and stuff. No, this is this. My intentions is to keep you out of prison, keep you out of going to jail, even if you make a mistake. You know, even if your actions were negative. I, I still don't ever want anybody to go to jail and spend the rest of their life in prison. Um, you know, it, to me, it would be better if they got another chance at their freedom and did good, you know. But anyways, this video, I hope, uh, will help somebody who finds himself in trouble one day. Let's hope that we never do. Let's, let's stay away from people who are doing foolish things in the street and, and committing crimes and stuff. You know, let's stay free. Let's stay free. Let's do the right thing. Let's do the hard thing. Let's go to work, man. Find a job. Go to school. Get some training. Do something positive in your life. Okay? Don't waste your time running the streets, man. Because they are, gangs and, and the streets only lead to jail, to death, uh, to injuries. Like, you end up in a wheelchair maybe, uh, crippled, uh, you know, shot whatever um it, i can't say anything positive but where it, where it takes you because it doesn't take you nowhere positive it takes you to negative places that you don't want to be so let's not go there and let's hope that you never need to use any of these things that i've talked about today but if they do use wisdom and remember the things that i talked about today please let's stay free let's stay out of here so we could be here for our families for the people that love us the people that are here for us Let's stay free so we could be here for them rather than be incarcerated where they got to waste their time and their resources taking care of us, paying for lawyers, sending us money for a store and all of the, the, the cost that our family gets affected with when we make bad decisions and bad choices in our lives. Let's stay free. Let's stay positive. Let's stay strong. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in future videos. God bless you and your family.